Welcome to this 10 minute Pilates evening unwind routine, perfect when you just wanna find ease in your body and relaxation. Hi, my name is Beth and welcome to Trifecta Pilates. This is a place where we come together on the Pilates mat for an effective workout so you can step off your mat and enjoy your day. You won't need any additional equipment for this bedtime Pilates routine and if you're ready, join me on the mat. Go ahead and begin on hands and knees now on the mat. We won't be here very long. You can bring the toes to touch. Maybe walk the hands forward a step. And as you breathe out, press your pelvis back. So you're pressing pelvis back. Hands may slide with you. Head can come down. And allow yourself to take some breath here, breathing in. Breathing out. So we're finding stillness right now with external body, but movement through your breath. And stay interested in your experience. Stay connected to your deep breathing. The sensations that you're feeling in your body. In your next breath, roll up onto hands, onto knees once again. Thighs can become parallel. And now we're just going to press the pelvis back part way and rock right back up again. So find that slow press back and rock up. Maintaining just natural curves of your spine as you press back and shape rocks forward. Another breath here, press back and forward. Very nice. Now let's sneak one foot forward between the hands. Opposite knee can stay down a little press, press. Press with that pelvis forward. And if you don't like the little pulsing motion, feel free to opt out of the pulses. This session is about what feels most beneficial for you. Just a gentle unwind routine. Breathing deeply. And front leg joins back and switch sides. So find again that little press. Or if you don't like the pulsing motion again, pause and just connect to your deep breathing. Can go through maybe a quick body scan, releasing shoulders and brow line, deepen in breath. Keep breathing. Another breath here. Nice, and go ahead and have a seat now on your mat. So having a seat, legs can be bent, hands behind the thighs or on the mat, your choice and work your way into a gentle forward fold. So it's not how far forward you can go. Find ease, let your head release. And even if your legs can go straight, see how it feels to have them bent. If you can have a different sensation, we're not going for maximum range of motion stretch or trying to push anything. Find your deep breath, think release, maybe ankles relax, legs, hips, back, shoulders, 
abdomen, neck, brow line, release. Feel your breath travel deep into the entire body. Another breath here. And then roll yourself upright. So you're seated. You can bend your knees still and sit cross-legged if that's comfortable for your body in this cross-legged position. And just gently pivot your shape forward. Hands can walk forward and take some breath. And again, go just to the very edge of your stretch. Even if you can really lean forward, back off of that a little bit more. Find more ease. Savor the length in your spine. Notice the areas of the body that are experiencing sensations. And if they're feeling beneficial, breathe into those areas. If they're not, feel free to make adjustments, trying to find more relaxation. In your next breath, having a seat, and switch the cross of your legs here. And you can stay in a cross-legged position in vertical spine or pivot your shape forward. Taking some breath. You may notice that when you really find ease and you don't try to push too far too fast, you may get to a point where you feel like Okay, I want to step the hands forward in another touch and see how that is. So just slowly connecting to your deep breathing, noticing the shifts that you're experiencing. Because we switched the cross of your legs, you may notice a different sensation in the hip area as well. Another breath here. Allow your spine to come upright. Uncross the legs. Now lay onto your back on the mat. Ease your way on to your back. The knees can stay bent. Allow the arms to open across from the shoulders and just feel the heaviness in the arms in the shoulders here. Take a breath and rotate pelvis to one side. If you'd like, the bottom leg can cross and rest on to the top leg if that feels comfortable. If that's too much, keep the legs uncrossed. Feeling your shoulders stay heavy, your breath deep, brow line soft. And really breathe into the whole body here. And uncross through the legs. Coming back to center with pelvis, with legs. And when you're ready, switch sides. So rotate second side, taking a breath. The bottom leg again can cross on top of the top leg. Breathe into whole body. Let the shoulders stay heavy, the brow line heavy, relax. Breath deep. And 
In your next breath, uncross the legs, bring pelvis back to center. Your arms relax by the side of your body on your mat. Eyes can stay open or eyes can close. Whatever helps you feel a little bit more at ease right now, more relaxed, more in tune with where you are right now on the mat. And take a deep breath in. and out. Hey there, if you liked moving with that class and you're really looking to establish a strong foundation with the Pilates method to get stronger and more flexible, more mobile, the best thing that you can do is follow a plan. You can do this by moving with the seven day at home Pilates challenge. Whether you're brand new to Pilates or you're just getting back into Pilates after some time off, this is a perfect series to set you up for success with the method seven workouts, beginner level, giving you time and space to find the right variation for where you are right now. And when you do that, that's how you're going to get stronger and more flexible in a way that makes sense for you. All that you need to do is sign up using the link below in the first comment. After you sign up, we'll send you all the details and the first workout so you can get moving with Pilates. I hope that you have a beautiful day and I cannot wait for you to join me on the mat.